Okay, well, I thought I'd uh, do an update here on the present state of the uh, software. Um, I'm sorry about how far back I'm going to have to be from the prop because my stupid piece of crap camera seems to have an issue with autofocus. If I'm too close, it just uh, refuses, so um, I have to pull back enough so it can focus off the total prop and not just the graphics that are going on the window. So. Anyways, with that uh, being where we're at, um, I uh, hope you appreciate what we can, what I can show you right now. So, uh, this is the main screen, and uh, what we've got fixed is the up and down buttons. Of course, right now, uh, I think the code is having a hard time dealing with the uh, debounce of these mechanical switches. So, I'll have to see if my friend R. Warren can correct that. Uh, but we can go through the various menus here. In this particular uh, screen, the push button is a little bit more tolerant, let's say. So it's definitely a software issue. Um, I guess you could put in some delay time. Uh, it, could, it could also, I guess, be a processing issue. Um, where if uh, the menu's not quite uh, system hungry, uh, it just flies past. But if it takes a little bit more processing power to bring up the screen, it's a little bit slower, so uh, it uh, doesn't have an issue. I don't know. I'm just trying to put some logic into a very annoying little um, problem, but not a big problem. So this is part of cleaning up the software. So, I mean, the whole point of this is to make these Bethesda um, boat anchors go back to being a, 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 a prop that uh, none of us seem to uh, appreciate having go south on us like they did. So, uh, we're still going to approach the um, ability to look at and uh, correct the software glitch that caused every other prop to die, but for right now, this seems to be my only option, using a Raspberry A+, and cleaning up uh, the software that um, I guess a couple of people have done, and uh, my friend R. Warren's a genius at this, so if anybody can pull this together, it's going to be him. So, anyways. As I said, uh, so that's uh, the one screen. Let's go now to, I guess it's inventory. And here it's going to be very quick. There we go. I just can't seem to get it. And, and there is a there is a baseball bat in there. We're just not going to be able to see it. So um, this also has seven options in the cross menu. Um, but uh, they don't all seem to have uh, functions that are turned on right now, so I don't know if we can edit them out or what. You know, as you can see, it just, it just flies right past. Everything's there, but uh, yeah, just uh, it's going to just sit right on past. Uh, but then this one, oops, no, that was, okay, yeah, it's just uh, still going to just race right through. Minor problem, minor problem. Sorry, wrong way. Uh, as I said, miscellaneous uh, uh, junk and uh, the other two, which I don't have access to, don't seem to have anything in them. Just aid, apparel, and weapons. So we'll have to see what uh, uh, what's going on there, if they're ever going to have anything, or uh, if not. If they're not, then uh, just get rid of them. So here's the next. This is uh, data. I think this one we can take our time going through. This is out of uh, out of time. I kind of wish I could zoom in on that, but uh, the camera will have a issue. So let's go to the next one. Uh, Jewel of the Commonwealth. Let's see what that does. Yeah, not terribly exciting. Unlikely Valentine. 
probably seen Valentine's Massacre uh, inference there. Getting a clue. Reunions. It says follow dog meat. I assume that's the name of the kid. I, I, I've never played the game. Uh, I just like the the gadgets that are in it. Uh, so, okay. Uh, Dangerous Minds. And actually, I kind of got hooked up on this because uh, so many of them were showing up on eBay dead. And uh, I thought, oh, geez, let's see if we can fix them. So, uh, the one option is the total gut and putting in uh, the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the other option is... Um, seeing if we can discover if it's a, a custom driver or something like that uh, but presently I can't I can't get in there and scrutinize the code because uh, well, it's not what I do but having our warn be able to do that that would be nice so we'll have to see what happens so okay sorry for my rambling but uh, a lot of a lot of time here just going through these screens uh, this one here's a molecular event the previous one was hunter haunted Oh, Hunter Hunted. <laughs> Sorry, don't have my glasses on. Okay, kind of didn't make any sense. Institutionalized. Okay, and now we'll go to the next window. This is miscellaneous again. Nothing in here, so I don't know if it's going to be or if uh, not. So, okay, now. All right, what R. Warren has done for me is uh, give us a couple of default maps, regardless of whether we're online or not. Uh, and this is a zoomed in of the base map here. And this happens to be Northridge, California, because that's uh, California State University, Northridge. And uh, same thing, just zoomed in. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, and the next one is radio. And here we have um, uh, Galaxy News Radio. And this, this does eat up a lot of resource, so you can see, there we go, uh, the current jump from 440 mils up to 555 when it's actually uh, finished loading and, and actually running. This animation, I believe, is the same on all of these windows. We don't have the sound files active yet. Uh, I think there was some issue with the way this rotary switch being a constant uh, state switch. Uh, would have caused the clicking sound of the switch function to just sound like a machine gun because it would just keep going over and over and over again every time it looked out at the the, the GPIO port and saw it grounded. So uh, he's got to go in and uh, make some changes. So hopefully the next video will have uh, the ability to hear this, the, the radio running. Okay, this next one is uh, Radio Enclave. And see, this does take a lot of resource because it takes forever for it to change. I've already pushed the button and we're just sitting here waiting. Or maybe not. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe it was me. Uh, radio Enclave. Uh, the next is uh, New Vegas Radio. This isn't terribly exciting because, like I said, it's, it's the same video running. Um, Okay, and see that time it was uh, the system that took time because I'm pushing the button now and let's see how long it takes. There we go. So that's a pretty long, uh, pretty long period. But I guess that again, it's it's uh, it's taking time. Probably go out, grab the animated GIF or whatever this is, and start running it. And uh, okay, and that was Mo uh, Mojave Radio, and this is a Diamond City Radio. This is classic, classical. I don't know why some seem to take longer than others, even though the animation is pretty much the same. Um, 
I assume it's what's going on in the background, uh, the audio. And, oh, jeez, this one, the scope effect didn't even, uh, didn't even start. So what's going on there? And this is Appalachia Radio. Hmm, okay. Just a glitch in the system, because there it is now on Classical. So, uh, again, so nice to have all of these working and having the ability to scroll uh, down these menus and also uh, if there's sub-menus, uh, the ability to get to those. So, very nice progress uh, on this so far. Uh, I'm going to be starting a... Uh, uh, a thread over in RPF, um, so I'll have uh, a link to it in the in the text on the video. One also nice thing is uh, uh, R. Warren also now gave me a proper way to shut the program down. You just push the button, you'll see the animation stop, and the video closes uh, or the program closes like it should. So I'm not going to be creating any bad entries uh, by just shutting off the power, I get to close it uh, appropriately. So, uh, hopefully this video is much better in focused than the previous, and I can put this uh, to rest for this week. So, you all have yourself a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye!